Okay, we're going to run through the installation of the Piranha dual battery tray into the 150 series Prado down here. So the first step is we're going to disconnect this bolt that houses the earths. So we're going to take that out. That's going to be one of our mounting points for the bracket. So we'll just leave that disconnected at the moment. Next thing we're going to do is disconnect the aircon bracket. Now what we definitely don't want to do is touch this one here. Definitely do not crack that one. That is the aircon port. If you release that one, you will actually re release the gas out of the system. So just these two. And we're going to lift that bracket up off and discard the bottom part of that bracket. Next we're going to replace that bracket that we removed with a bracket provided in the Piranha kit. So it's just a matter of sitting that bracket there for now. Now we're going to sit our battery tray into position. Let's get close up to that in a second. got our tray basically sitting in there. We're going to line up all these holes so that they match up um, through here. We'll have four holes and we're going to utilise where we took that earth off is one bracket and we're going to mount the AC line to this point here. So it's going to just push that AC line out towards the radiator slightly. So we'll get those in position and walk you through the rest. Okay, the tray is in position. So we're just gonna run through, we've got two larger countersunk nuts on this end. Um, they've got an eight mil thread in there and then six mil threads are these ones. Um, it's important that we've used the countersunks here. Reason being is they actually sit into those indentations and allow the battery to sit flat in that position. So make sure you've used all the countersunks where the battery's going to sit. And then, so this is our bracket for the aircon. We've used the old Toyota bolt there um, that came off the bracket to mount our bracket that came with the Piranha battery tray under there. And then our last connection is remounting this earth bolt. So making sure that our earth wires are back and then bolting that through the tray. Getting these nuts to start may be a little tricky. You may have to swap which one you start first um, to make sure that the holes all line up and get the tray into position. But now that it is in position, we'll do it up and get the battery in and show you the next step. Okay, now that the battery's placed into position, we've chose the Delcor HTC 27 in this um, case. Um, it's time to put the battery hold down clamp on. Now the first step in this process is removing this front plastic grill, which you might see another video of how to do that. But basically, a series of plastic clips around here, we just start by pushing in the center of the clip. As you can see there, it's gone in and then lifting up and that will allow us to remove this entire grill. So we'll just place that aside. And now we start with the bracket which sits on top like so and line it up with that hole there. So at the end when we put the plastic cover back on we're going to put this bolt through there. That's going to hold in to our grill. So I'll just sit it there so we can see for now. Give you a close up. So there's the grill out. We're going to, not yet, but once we put that plastic grill back on, this bolt will go through and then we'll put a nut on the bottom of it. But the next two things that hold the battery hold down clamp in position are our two upright posts. So they're just wing nuts. So we'll just take the wing nut off the end. We'll start with this one near the air box. So down in the the air box we're going to see on the side of the piranha tray is an indentation like a hook a hole to get the hook through you might be able to see that there so there it's gone into the tray once we've got it into the tray hold it put it through the hole and the hold down clamp and we'll just loosely put that wing nut on for now so that's one done we do the same process for the next one Take that wing nut off. We'll go down, look for the hole on this side of the piranha tray. So 
place it through the hole, replace our washer and our wing nut. I'm gonna leave those loose until we get that plastic cover back on and then we can line up this one. That'll allow it to move while we line that up. Once that one's lined up and tightened up, then we can tighten up our wing nuts. And that's the installation of the Prana dual battery tray complete.